What's up? Today we are going to talk about multiplying whole numbers by powers of 10. There is no need to get yourself all in a pickle about this one. It is really quite simple. Let me show you. We start with the handy old place value chart. Remember as we move to the left on the place value chart, the value of the digit increases 10 times. Starting with the number 6. If I multiply 6 times 10, I get the answer of 60. Here is how. The expression is 6 times 10. I can flip the numbers around to have 10 times 6. This means I have 6 tens or 60. I move the 6 over 1 place value to the left and add a 0 to the empty place values to the right. This gives me the same answer of 60. What if we multiply 6 times 100? The expression is telling me I have 6 hundreds. The number 100 also has two zeros. This means I can move the 6 to the left two times and fill in the empty place values to the right for an answer of 600. Sometimes expressions are written with an exponent next to the power of 10. No need to worry, you can stay as cool as a cucumber. The exponent tells us how many tens to multiply. 10 with an exponent of 2 means to multiply 10 times 10, which equals 100. Check this out. The exponent is a 2 and take a gander at how many zeros are in 100. There are 2. 10 with an exponent of 3 means to multiply 10 3 times. 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1000. I am sensing a pattern here the exponent is 3 and there are 3 zeros behind the 1. So what is the value of 653 times 10 cubed? I put 653 into the place value chart. 10 cubed means I need to multiply 10 3 times and get the answer of 1000. The power of 10 has 3 zeros. I am going to move each digit over 3 spaces in the place value chart and fill in the empty place values to the right with zeros. This gives me an answer of 653,000. I told you it was no big deal multiplying whole numbers by powers of 10. Have a good one. Mr. Dillout.